Well, the propaganda model is really it's a framework of analysis. It's a right. framework, and it's uh, it's uh, main characteristic is is the model that re rests on the structure of the system, and how the structure bears on the media. So you got uh, it puts gives some weight to <clears throat> who owns the media how it gets funded, that is to say, advertising mainly, how it sources its, its work, sourcing, uh, uh, which is mainly through elite sources, and uh, flack, uh, a, a fourth element, which means neg negative feedback, which is really a fun effective Flack is a function of power and a threat that you can pose to the media. And then the fifth element in, the, in this model is ideology, which again flows from the underlying power structure of the system. So uh, in, in the original model, we, we, we had anti-communism as the ideological element. But in the fur we had two further editions of the our, the book, and in in those we incorporated free market ideology as another ideological element. You could also say maybe maybe the uh, the, the war on terror, the threat of terrorism, terror, and the permanent war system is a part of the either the United States is threatened by uh, by terrorists, and so. That, that's in, integrated into the system and can justify any degree of militarization. So in any case, the, the propaganda model is a structural model. Uh, and because it's a structural model, it's really, it really traces back to elite interests because the structural elements that affect the media are, are elements <clears throat> that... Uh, are really controlled by the powerful people in the society, the people that own the media, the people that advertise in the media, the people that can that the media goes to for sources like the White House and corporate executives, and flack, negative feedback, which um, comes from many different places, but the flack that's really worrisome to the media is flack from people that can do them harm, that is to say, powerful people. And the ideology also stems from basic power interests in society.